morning. We are getting results in from primary elections across mid Michigan. Yeah, we told you earlier about some of the school bonds and millages and now News 10's Kellen Buddy is joining us live in our newsroom to give us an update on the city council race in Lansing and the mayoral race in Jackson. Kellen. Yeah, good morning, guys. We had four at large seats for the Lansing City Council, two open spots for Ward one and in Jackson. That mayoral race is down to two. It will be Daniel Mahoney taking on John Wilson when the general elections come along in November. Mahoney taking half of the votes in that primary. News 10 spoke with voters who put the two winners on their ballots. I believe in Daniel Mahoney. I believe in what he's doing and what he has done for the Jackson community. And I'm praying and hoping that he will still continue to uh, do the things that he had planned to do for the city of Jackson. I'm here to vote for John Wilson. There's a lot of poverty here, a lot of homelessness. Um, here um, we have a lot of housing issues and so we need to save jobs we need new leadership um, and, and just to start off fresh and in Lansing the city council races for two at-large spots now down to four Tamara Carter Trini Lopez Pelly Vonaglu Jody Washington and Missy Lilji will race for those two spots in November and Ryan Cost and Michael Vanda Gukti will vie for the Ward 1 spot in the Lansing City Council. And we will, of course, be following these candidates as they march along the campaign trail. Guys, we're just under um, three months away from those general elections. All right, Kellen, thank you. You can see more election results, including the school bond and millage proposals that were on the ballot in mid-Michigan. All of that available on our website, WILX.com.